In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Last week we heard the parable of the sower, and today we also hear the parable of the sower. The church is trying to plant in, in our minds that Christ will be born in your heart, will be born for us soon, like the seed that grows in the heart. That's to prepare our minds for the nativity of Christ. Shh. We know the parable. We've heard it many times before. Some fell on the road, some fell on the rocky soil, some fell on the thorny soil, and some fell on the good soil. And each one grew to a certain extent, but only one kind brought forth fruit, the one that fell on the good soil. I'd like to remind you with um, a talk that I gave a few, a few years ago was by St. Basil on the human condition, talking about the nature of man and how God created man on his image and his likeness. And he said the image of man cannot be something that keeps changing all the time. You cannot think of the image as face, hands, feet, trunk, body, back, no, because the image of God is stable, does not change. So when the Bible says that God created Adam on his image, he must have been talking about something different than the outer shell of the human being. And then he said, he created Adam on his image in authority that, and dominion that he gave him over animals. He gave Adam dominion over animals and other creatures on the earth to subdue it. This dominion and authority is the image of God that was planted inside of Adam. He also said something very interesting. The animals, does it really mean anything? It does. It means our emotions. So when we practice authority and dominions, over our emotions, we're actually fulfilling the potential of our creation on the image of God. And also, when we practice this authority over our own emotions, we are growing to the likeness of God. God created Adam on his image and his likeness. This is how St. Basil, the great Summarize it on the book of, on the human condition. And from there, I can connect the image, the likeness, and the seed all in one talk. The seed is what keeps the value of our image clear. Because sometimes we don't know what the value of the image is. When you sit with the Bible, We don't talk. When we sit with the Bible and we read the word of God, we understand who we are. We start to understand the value of our creation. So the seed is the word of God that keeps this, the value of our image clear in front of us. Not just that, it also keeps the soil and our hearts ready for the seed to grow. So the seed itself, the word of God, can clean the soil if we listen to it. That takes me to the next point of this talk today. How can the seed get to the heart without a good ear, without a an ear that can listen. That's why if you paid attention to the last verse of the, of the gospel today, the last verse, if you can get it on the screen, you will see it. You see what's the last verse? What does it say? Let him who has an ear hear. Isn't that what it says? Right? But before this, he, it says that Christ cried out with a loud voice, Saracha, 
نادى بصوت عالي as if what's coming is very crucial to the word to grow how can the word of god get to our heart if our ears are blocked if our ears are not working if our ears are not working then that the seed doesn't even have a chance to reach any kind of soil let alone road or rock or thorn it doesn't have a chance so he says let those who have ear hear let them practice proper hearing and last week if we paid attention to the readings it also the the catholic epistle talked about the tongue and there is a relationship between talking and listening it's a relation uh a reversal or opposite if one goes high the other one goes down right so if you talk too much if we talk too much what happened to our ears they're not really working and if we listen well then most likely we're not talking too much this is why some people say god give us one tongue and two ears lisan wahid watnain wadan so we can listen more than we talk not just listening but attentive listening not just to be in the church to check we came to church to clear our conscience from any guilt feeling but also actively listening to the word of god so we can understand what our value is the image that we were created on when you understand our image and was this understanding of the meaning of our image we can grow to his likeness through fruitful plantation of the seed in our hearts through hearing so the word will find a way through the ears to the heart it will find the soil the seed itself is able to clean the soil that's what it does sometimes we think what do i need to do to clean my soil Just sit with the word and the word and the seed is able to clean the soil if you give it a chance through through our ears we receive the seeds and through our hearts the seed will grow and through patience we will bring forth fruits don't be too quick to judge your spiritual practices it takes time to bring forth fruits it takes time to bring forth fruit it's not an overnight thing it's not an instant gratification no it takes time because you're building something that is good and precious so it takes time for it to grow may god give us the true the work so we can grow into his image and work to his likeness to him is glory forever and ever amen